Hey friend, welcome. It is a new week and I have a bunch, well, hopefully, I will have a bunch of things to show you that has sold over this course of this week. I just do this kind of vlog style and show you as I see it myself. And also we're going to talk a little bit about global shipping and we're going to together turn on global shipping in my eBay store and see what that does. First, I have a few things to show you that sold. Let's start with this bag. So this is a brand called The Sack. I don't really know anything about it other than their leather bags. A uh, lady at church gave me a bunch of bags and a few of these. I think there were five brand new ones. And this is the first one that has sold. So it sold for $56.10. $8.16 in fees, $12.29 in shipping. So my profit is $35.65 because she just gave this to me. So I have no cost of goods into it, which is just so kind and amazing to me. I also sold this hat. I had to look this up <laughs> because I had no idea what this was. I Google lensed it. I don't, it's been a while. So I don't remember exactly how I figured out what it was, but I found this at the bins. I paid $1.12 for it. It sold for $21.05. So I have $3.29 in fees and $4.50 in shipping. So my profit is $12.14, which I think is just amazing. On a hat I found in the bins. I mean, it's not, it still has the sticker on it, which I think is a thing. I don't really know why, but I mean, you can tell there's like wear on the inside, but I'm starting to have quite the little stash of hats. So I'm glad that that sold. Another thing that sold is this, oh my goodness, this thing is ridiculous, I gotta show you. So it is a, it's called a Rough Rider is the brand. And I do believe it is vintage. It has a paper tag, it's made in the USA, it's a size medium, it's 100% cotton. And it's just like this lightweight jacket thing, look at the back. <laughs> it's crazy. I listed it at like, $25 or 30 or something like that and I took an offer of $10 because it is quite stained. I actually soaked this and it still is pretty stained but I did disclose that in my listing. It sold for a total of $15.80. I have $2.23 in fees, $4.34 in shipping so my profit is $9.23 because I got that at my favorite thrift store. If you've seen any of my videos, my favorite thrift store, my cost of goods, the highest it has ever been is like $1.80 something. It's usually a dollar or less, which is just insane to me. I did not include that in the lot whenever I had that because it was so stained, I didn't know if I could even sell it. And so I just have my cost of goods as zero on that, so which is why 923 is my profit on that. Even if I had paid a dollar or whatever for it, I mean, I did pay money for it. I hope that's making sense. <laughs> when I average my cost of goods, I take the total amount of money that I paid and then I divide that by how many items I have or items that I can sell out of that. And so on this day, maybe I had spent $10, $20 and had gotten 20 one items, but I only counted 20 because I wasn't sure that I was going to be able to sell that. Does that make sense? Okay. The next thing that sold is a pair of jeans. I have a Goodwill bins haul where I found a ton of denim. I will link that video for you up here in the cards and also in the description below. So I had a ton of denim from that. This is Tommy Bahama and they're just a pair of men's jeans. They're like classic fit or something. Pretty wide legged, actually, in my opinion. <laughs> I paid $1.12 was my average cost of goods that day. $31.35 is what the buyer paid. I have $5.05 in fees and $8.20 in shipping. I um, tend to ship my jeans, at least the smaller ones, 38 might be stretching it a bit. Um, I try to put those in a flat padded flat rate mailer. And so my profit on that is $16.98. This is a bra I found at my favorite thrift store. It is Cacique is the brand. I believe that is Elaine Bryant, like their intimates or their, you know, lingerie brand. <laughs> 
this sold so fast. I bought it at my favorite thrift store for a dollar a week, like just over a week ago. I just listed it and it sold for $16.38. Now, when I say $16.38, that's everything other than tax that eBay puts into my account that the buyer paid. So that's what they paid in what the item costs as well as the shipping. And then eBay takes care of all that tax, so I don't have to mess with any of that, which is so nice. So I did pay $2.33 in fees, $4.15 in shipping. So my profit on this bra was $8.90. Not bad for a super fast flip. This is another bag that came from the lady at church. And again, it is the sack and it is just a different style. It was the only one of these. And I think this is really cute. Very cute pink bag. So it was called the Demi something or other. I'll get it. Three-way Demi. There it is. So I guess you can carry it three different ways. <laughs> anyway, I sold this for $37.34. It was $5.45 in fees, $7.67 in shipping. And so my profit was $24.22 because I had no cost of goods into this. This is a shirt that I also found at my favorite thrift store. I paid a whole 45 cents for it. That's why it's my favorite thrift store. It's crazy. Uh, this, I don't think it's anything. Moda Tech, I'm not really sure. It has pearl snaps. Once upon a time, I heard somebody say, oh, pick up shirts with pearl snaps. And so I do. And I don't think I've, I think this might be the second one that's sold. Anyway, I have a lot of pearl snaps. But this one did sell. It sold for $15.65, $2.43 in fees, $8.20 in shipping, because this will go in a padded flat rate as well. So $4.57 is my profit, which is not great in itself, but I 10 times buy money off of that. So I think that's pretty good. What else, you know, can you get 10 times your money for something this small? <laughs> anyway. I'm happy with it. That was my lowest profit item in this, the past two days that has sold. So I'm happy with that. And then this purse I also got at my favorite thrift store for a whole dollar. <laughs> and this is a Fossil brand. And I don't really know much about Fossil. I'm just gonna show you the tag here on the inside. There it is. So I don't really know much about it other than I think I sold another fossil bag pretty quickly. And so then when I saw this and I knew I was going to pay not very much for it, I thought I would go ahead and grab it and try and sell it. So it's pretty worn and I did note that in the listing. I try and be really honest in my listings. So it sold for $15.90. I have $2.71 in fees, $4.42 in shipping. So $7.77 in profit. And I always think it's funny when numbers end up like that, but that's it. I'm gonna get this loaded up and taken to the post office and then we'll see what the, the time has come. <laughs> We're gonna do this thing. I'm so nervous. I don't know why I'm so nervous, but I do not, know how to I know how to screen record I don't know how to get it from here to you um, today is not the day that I'm learning that today I'm gonna learn global shipping so um, I will close up on my screen when it's needed but to start I got to the eBay global shipping program page from Google <laughs> because I couldn't find it on my seller hub I couldn't find it anywhere so what I did was I Googled how to change all my listings to global shipping and it said start with this page. I clicked on it and there it is. So it says it is from the seller center. So the seller center, it gives me an overview of why I should love the global shipping program and then it says start shipping globally. So I'm gonna click on that. Here's how it works, shows me why I should join, how it works and says it's free to enroll. So I'm gonna start now. Do I want to offer the global shipping program on my active eligible listings? Yes, I do want to do that. So I am going to press continue and it says 
You've opened up your listings to millions of new buyers. Thanks for joining the Global Shipping Program. Your active listings will be updated within 40, 24 hours. And then it says either list an item or go to my eBay. It was really that simple. I'm done. Now I'm back to my eBay. That's it. Okay. I got some stuff to ship. They're sweatpants, joggers. The brand is JCPenney. They're the Olympics branded. So they are vintage. They had a little hole that I did disclose. And of course they're lintier than all get out. Not to mention the dog hair. <laughs> but I did buy these at my favorite thrift store for $70. No, no. 70 cents. The buyer paid $28.50. So after fees and shipping, I have a profit of $17.70 on that. I really dislike those lint rollers. So if you have a suggestion for a lint roller that actually works, will you let me know, please, in the comments? This is a little shirt I got from the bins. The brand is Loft, which I've had some success selling, but not for like a lot of money. So like this one only sold for $15.15. I paid $1.12 at the bin, so after fees and shipping, my profit is only $6.95. Which, you know, when you take into account that my return on investment is pretty high, that's not terrible. Okay, the next piece is the brand called Cupio. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. And it is an anthro anthropology. anthropology brand. I don't know if this exact piece was sold at Anthropology. I think it was when I looked it up. This came from the lady at church that gave me a bunch of items. So I have zero cost of goods. The buyer paid $25.90. So after fees and shipping, my profit is $17.89, which is just wonderful. I'm always just blown away by the generosity of people. These are a pair of Crocs that sold and they're kind of weird. They're like funky, but hey. They sold, and they sold for $25.15. Bought them at my favorite thrift store for $0.56. Cents. So after fees and shipping, my profit on those are $14.88. You may notice I write on all of my packages. That is because I don't have a thermal printer or any printer for that matter. And I will link right here. I did a video where I showed how I use QR codes instead of printing labels for shipping. These sold. These are little kid cleats. They were my daughter's. They no longer fit her. They sold for $18.90. So after fees and shipping, I have a profit of $10.20 considering they were my daughter's and they're pretty, I mean, they're pretty rough. <laughs> I'll take that. Next thing that sold are these pants. They are 511 Tactical. I just sold another pair of pants and was kind of bemoaning that I don't think they sell well and then I sold another pair. But um, I don't think they sell for a lot of money. I, I don't know. They sold, so I'm happy. I sold them for $24.65. I bought them at the bins. Is that correct? Yeah, for $1.58. So after fees and shipping, my profit is $11.59. So, you know, I'm, I'm very happy with $11.59. These are some Clarks that sold. I bought these really early on when I thought Clarks were good. <laughs> I don't know. I, I still hear some YouTubers saying that Clarks will sell these. I don't know. They're okay. They're, they didn't sell for a lot. I bought them for 386. 
They sold for 2014. So after fees and shipping, my profit was only $5.83. So I don't know that that was really worth my time and effort, but I can get a coffee with that, right? These are some Nike joggers. No, I don't think they're joggers. You know what Nike looks like. Uh, they're, yeah, they're just pants, but they're kind of that swishy pant, right? Um, so, more black, which does not bode well for me. So these sold for $21.90. I bought them at my favorite thrift store for 70 cents. So after fees and shipping, I'm gonna make $10.38 on them. These are like a pack of aprons. They're just aprons like you would wear in a commercial kitchen or something. They, they're very, very basic. I'm not gonna pull them out. One had significant flaws, but the other four were like new. So they came from my neighbor that gave me all that uh, career wear. So I have no cost of goods. The buyer paid $20 even, so after uh, fees and shipping, my profit is $8.95. This is a J. Crew sweater. I did find it at the bins. The buyer paid $23.75. I paid $1.12. So after fees and shipping, my profit is $10.74. Which it's really cute. It's got like little pom pom balls on it. I'm excited that it's getting a new home. Another pair of shoes. I'm so happy that some shoes are getting out of here. These are the brand Clogs, which when I bought them, I comped them and they looked pretty good. They sold for $29.75. I bought them at the bins for $1.12. So after fees and shipping, my profit is $13.39. Last thing, this is an L.L. Bean. I do think it's vintage, but it is a cardigan and it is wool. I believe actually that it's cashmere. So soft. Whoever bought this got a really good deal. It's a wool cashmere blend and whoever bought this bought it only for $39.75. I bought it for $1.58 at the bins. My profit after fees and shipping is $21.71. By far my best item. Yeah, it's definitely vintage. That's a paper tag. It's made in the USA. So I'm gonna have to lint roll the heck out of it, but it's really nice and it's going to a new home. Well, I have another round of what sold today and I have eight things. It's really good. So I'll get into it. But first, yesterday I went with my husband to the thrift store and we found quite a few things. Nothing like extraordinary, but like I found a few pair of jeans, some Levi's, some American Eagle, a pair called Democracy that comped pretty well. And I found a brand new pair of like baseball softball compression under crop pants they're brand new with tags those are pretty cool i spent a whole of twenty dollars and i bought 20 items there my favorite thrift store is just insane <laughs> um what else did i find i found a really cute little dress that is vintage it needs soaked actually it's right here but it needs soaked really bad <laughs> i'm hoping i can bring it some new life if not I tried, but I have quite a few things to ship, so let's start. The first thing I had to like create a box here. I have some dance goes. These, I will tell you, I bought just because I'd never found dance goes before. You know, I've told you this. I haven't told you. Sometimes I buy things just because I get excited about the brand. I don't know why I was excited. I didn't feel like the comps were that good. I hear like, Ginger Marvin say often that they go for well, but I didn't think the comps were that great. And my 
sale price on it wasn't great either. So it was $27.90 was what they sold for. That includes shipping. So, yeah. After fees and shipping, I paid $8 for these. So I thought that was good thinking I was going to get 40 for the 35 to 40 plus shipping. But I mean, I, my profit was only $8. That's not ideal, but that's okay. The next thing is a loft. It's a little sleeveless blouse. I bought it at a yard sale for $2 over the summer. I sold it for $13.17. After fees and shipping, my profit on that was $5.34. So, you know, eh. I also sold a scrub top. I love to find scrub tops. I think they sell rather quickly, not for a ton of money, but a decent amount. And I don't spend much on them. This one I bought for $1.50 and it sold for $15.90. So after fees and shipping, my profit's $7.74 and I've had it for less than a month. This is another one of those Vera Bradley bags that a friend from church gave to me. So I am selling this one for $13.65 after fees and shipping. My profit is $6.68 since I didn't have any cost of goods. So this was kind of a cool sale. This is the brand Prince Gardener. I found it at a yard sale for a dollar over the summer. And it is just like a leather wallet. It's actually embroidered, like engraved. Um, I don't, it was when I, didn't, I still don't know what I'm doing, but I didn't know what I was doing. So I was just kind of picking up anything that I thought might sell. So this did sell finally for $17.99. So after fees and shipping and my dollar cost of goods, my profit is $10.48, which I'm happy with. But uh, the buyer messaged me and said, hey, can you ship this right away? We're actually gonna use this for a prop and a TV show. Ha! I thought that was so cool. So. It's gonna be on TV somewhere. These are vintage Levi's. They have the orange tag. They're brown, <laughs> like gross kind of color. But I bought them because I was excited that I found orange tag Levi's. I bought them for $5 at a thrift store in town. I sold them for $25.75. So after my cost of goods, of five dollars I'm going to profit eight dollars and forty cents on these this is a bagalini bag I have had a couple of these and I find that they sell this one is like looks brand new I found this at my favorite thrift store I paid a dollar eighty two for it and I sold it for $19.85. So after shipping and fees, uh, my profit was $6.17. So I like tripled my money. Not a huge money maker, but it's not a lot to store that. I'm happy with it. And then the last item is a torrid sweater. It's a cardigan, like a waffle knit cardigan. I don't think I'm gonna take it out of here. I'm gonna risk all the dog hair. <laughs> Try to avoid that at all costs. But I sold this for $25.65. I bought it at a Goodwill for a dollar five. And so my profit after fees and shipping is $9.88. So that was my sales over the past week. Uh, nothing from global shipping yet, but I wasn't really expecting it that quickly. But hopefully in the future, I'll have some global shipping sales. We'll see. I need to interrupt while I'm editing here because I actually did just get my very first global shipping order. It's about a week later and I sold like this uh, vintage cardigan quilted thing and I'll put a picture right here. But I was really excited and so hey, it worked and pretty fast. We'll see what other kind of orders I get through the global shipping program. were huge major money makers, but little bits add up. Those five and $10 profits add up. So just me sitting here in the closet has been five days worth of 
sales. And over those five days, I sold 22 items. So that's an average of 4.4 items per day. I would like to be at about six. Right now I have 660 items in my eBay store. But I know there are things that I can do, like my photographs need some work and things like that. I know that there are some things I can do to make that a little better. So 4.4 .4 items over the last five. My total profit, that's what I'm putting into my bank account, is $226.41. So that's an average profit per item of $10.29. That's great. My goal is to make $1,000 extra for my family in a month. And I'm definitely on target for that. So I'm really excited. Very happy that that has happened so quickly. A lot of this, I'm new with this. So a lot of this is learning for me and learning what sells, what doesn't. And yeah, so I'm just kind of learning as I go along. Thanks so much for hanging out with me this week and seeing what sold and helping me along with the global shipping process. That was so easy. And I was really nervous. I thought it was going to be so complicated. So easy. Anyway, uh, thanks for joining me. If you've enjoyed today's video, give me a like, a thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't already. That really helps other people see my videos. And as I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel, I would really appreciate it. You can always check out another video. There's one right here. And I will see you soon.